the current electricity section of the physics paper starts with question 1.9 in multiple choice which reads in the circuit below the battery has an internal resistance r and an emf e a variable resistor r is connected in the circuit and the ammeter and voltmeter register readings the resistance of the variable resistor is now increased which one of the following combinations is the correct representation of the change in the readings on the ammeter and the voltmeter as the resistance of R is increased. And so what we need to see here is we need to see that when the resistance increases in the external circuit, that means that the current in the external circuit or the current in the entire circuit is then going to decrease. Since the current decreases, that means that our number of lost volts, V lost, which is the product of current and the internal resistance, and since current decreases, the number of lost volts is going to decrease, and the amount of voltage available to the external circuit, known as the load voltage, which is the EMF of the battery minus the number of lost volts, and since our EMF remains unchanged, and since the number of lost volts has decreased, that means that our load voltage, the number of volts available in the external circuit is going to increase. And so what we find is that the voltmeter reading, our load voltage over here is going to increase, our current is going to decrease. And so the correct answer is option A, without going through that much explanation we can also say when the current decreases the amount of energy lost in the internal circuit to internal resistance decreases therefore there's more energy available externally and therefore our voltmeter reading would increase question eight reads a battery with an internal resistance of 0 0.5 ohms and an unknown emf is connected to three resistors, a high resistance voltmeter and an ammeter of negligible resistance, as shown in the circuit diagram below. The resistance of the connecting wires must be ignored. 8.1 define the term EMF of a battery and the definition as per the guideline document is that the EMF is the maximum energy provided or work done by a battery per coulomb or per unit of charge. That is question 8.1. Question 8.2, the reading on the voltmeter decreases by 1.5 volts when switch S is closed. Now, we know that when switch S is open, what it is actually reading is it is reading the EMF. Because there is no current flowing, there is no energy being lost to the internal resistance within the battery. And so we say that the open circuit voltage is the EMF of the battery where when the, bat, when the switch is closed, then we have current that is flowing. When there's current flowing, there are going to be volts that are lost to the internal resistance within the battery. And so the load voltage is then going to be shown by that voltmeter reading. 8.2, give a reason why the voltmeter reading decreases. And as we've just said, our explanation there is that energy is now lost to the internal resistance. So we would say that since energy is now lost to the internal resistance in the battery, the voltage is going to decrease. Question 8.3, calculate the following when switch S is closed, 8.3.1, the reading on the ammeter. Now we'd be tempted to calculate the entire resistance within the circuit, which would require calculating the parallel voltage and then adding it to this and then using the information but it's not necessary because what we know is that we have a number of volts being lost in the battery where our lost volts are equal to the product of the current and the internal resistance of that battery the number of lost volts is given to us as 1.5 volts the current in the battery is unknown or the current in the circuit is unknown but the internal resistance is known to be 0 0.5 amps which 0 0.5 ohms, which means then that we can calculate our current and find that that is three amps. Question 8.3.2. 
asks us to calculate the total external resistance of the circuit. And for this, we are going to have to calculate the equivalent parallel resistance and then add it to our four ohms that are connected in series. We would always start out with the formula here, one over the parallel resistance is equal to one over the resistor R1 plus one over resistor R2, where we have been given those two values as one or as 25 and 15 ohms respectively. And so we say that therefore our parallel resistance is equal to 9.375 ohms. The question has, however, asked what the total external resistance is, and our total resistance is equal to the parallel resistance of 9.375 plus the four ohms that are connected in series. And so our total external resistance is 13.3 eight ohms. Question 8.3.3 asks us to calculate the EMF of the battery and we can do that because we now know the current and the internal and external resistance using the formula EMF is equal to I R plus R where the EMF is our unknown. The current we know is 3. The external resistance we know is 13.38 and the internal resistance was given to us as 0 0.5 and so we therefore know that the emf of the battery is 41.64 volts question 8.4 a learner makes the following statement the current through resistor r3 is larger than the current through resistor r2 is the statement correct choose yes no and explain your answer and so what we see here is we see that resistor R2 and R3 are in parallel with each other. Since they are in parallel with each other, that means that the voltage across both of those resistors is constant. We know that voltage across a parallel circuit is constant and the current is divided. And so because the voltage is constant, what that means is that the lower resistance R3 is going to have a bigger current because we know that current is equal to voltage over resistance. So because the resistance is smaller, the current passing through the smaller resistor is going to be bigger. And so our answer here is yes, this learner's statement is correct. And the explanation for that is that they have the same voltage and therefore more current through the smaller resistor, more current through the smaller resistor. Question 8.5 asks us, the four ohm resistor is now removed from the circuit. How will this affect the EMF of the battery? Choose increases, decreases, or remains the same. And we need to realize that the EMF of the battery is something that is inherent to the battery. It does not change. The EMF of the battery will always be 41.64 volts, as will the battery's internal resistance. What does change is the number of lost volts and therefore the load voltage, but the EMF of the battery will never change. So 8.5, we just say it remains the same. This would be marked where 8.1 define the term EMF of a battery. Again, the underlined words here are the words that according to the guideline document or the marking guidelines says those words must be present in order to get the marks. Question 8.2, give a reason why the voltmeter reading decreases. And there were marks allocated for explaining that energy is lost due to the internal resistance, basically showing that you understand that once the switch is closed, there is current flowing through the circuit. And when there's current flowing through the circuit, there are volts lost and therefore energy lost to that internal resistance. Question 8.3.1, calculate the reading on the ammeter. Again, there is one mark given for writing the formula as given in the formula sheet. So there would be one mark for writing the formula, 
one mark for your correct substitution before rearranging the formula and one mark for the correct answer again with the correct units 8.3.2 again one mark given for a formula showing how you intend to calculate the equivalent parallel resistance one mark for the correct substitution and then the final mark for adding the four ohm series resistor to the parallel resistance to find the final resistance and again with the correct units 8.3.3 there's once again a mark allocated for the formula one for the correct substitution one for the correct answer again with the correct units 8.4 one mark for saying yes the statement is correct one mark for saying for showing that you understand that in a parallel circuit the voltage remains constant and the last mark for demonstrating that when the voltage remains constant the one with a smaller resistance is going to have more current it is a good idea here to once again refer to ohm's law i is equal to v over r to make that explanation clear and 8.5 one mark for the correct answer